today we're in Swindon at the Great Western Brick Show. This is a Lego exhibit and we're totally excited about it. We haven't made it to as many exhibits as we want, but this should be a really great one. Let's go check out the Great Western Brick Show. This is our first time in Swindon and it's really nice here, especially this section around the steam museum. It also appears to be something that's very similar to a mall here. I love the way they like repurpose some of the older buildings. It's really cool. We're checking that out too a little bit today. I've never been there before, but I love the fact that they have these signs set up every 50 yards or so to kind of keep you on the right track. I'm getting more and more excited the closer we get to it. I think we're almost there. Oh, that is really good looking Lego. Look at the hair. Don't touch it. Whatever you do, don't touch it. But look at look at the hair. It is really detailed. Who's uh, what's her name? Poppy. Poppy. And, and look at the color change of her dress down low. You see how they got the color changes here, and then she has bows in the back of her hair. The ears, just really, really good. Okay, let's go on in, guys. Hold on to your receipt, Blakely. I like the eyes. I think it's really cool. I came here specifically for a Lego exhibit, but they combined the Lego exhibit inside of the Steam Museum, which explains why it costs so much money. So as you're going and getting to the Lego exhibit, you're walking through the Steam Museum, which is really a nice bonus and also justifies that high price. It costs 77 pounds for the whole family. This is the crocodile locomotive. Look at this design on that. That is really nice. I like the little alligator minifig they threw in there with the alligator. It's a nice touch. Robin on the log. I think this is a mop, but it is so pretty. Look at the detail of the bird with the flower in his mouth. This is the way you want to do a Lego table. Oh, you know what? I just realized that this is a massive film set. So I've already put that password. So look, they're filming everywhere. So we have guys who are filming here. There's cameras set up here. There's cameras set up. So all of this is a massive film stage. Muppet stage. Wow, we have think all of the new Muppet minifigs are right here represented. Yeah, Raw. And then Miss Piggy. Cinema. Wow, this is one long Batmobile. Look at that Batmobile right there. And they're filming the front of the train there. It's nice. Oh my goodness, and here's a bit of, I think this is a Marvel set. Look at all of these different Iron Men set up here. Beautiful. It's kind of over the water here. And look at these Lego cargo. That. So look at that. They actually modeled this church completely. Look at the detail in this clock tower. That is absolutely beautiful. 
These are so cool because as you get closer, it just falls into the pieces. We have some really great Lego models. I mean, this is a lot of Lego because this is a very long table and the models extend all the way down. So let's start down going down this side. Some really oversized mini figs. These are some big figs. I love that name. And so instead of mini figs, these are big figs. So this is kind of the astronaut section of big figs. Oh, I love this big fig here in the chicken suit. Oh my goodness, there's a little chicken and egg. Detective, he's very similar to the detective that you'll see in the Lego store in London, in that flagship store in London. You'll see a detective, a little bigger than that one, actually quite a bit bigger than that one, but still really cool. All right, look at this. These are just the different colors of big figs. Bricks it takes to build each one of these big figs. And we have here, again, an entire display of them. Look at this. So beautiful. Big, big wizard. Exhibit, again, as I mentioned, is inside of a railway museum. And there's this beautiful train steam engine here. And the greatest thing is they have the steam engine set up where you can walk underneath the steam engine. So if you can do it, let's do it. Let's go for a walk under the steam engine. Because I don't think I've ever thought about what does the bottom of a steam engine look like? And I'm sure I've never considered the idea of actually getting under a steam engine to kind of take a good look. So here we are, under a steam engine. There's a crowd of people around the one section that I really want to get to, which is where people have designed their own sets of genuine Lego parts and you can buy those Lego sets. This is why I really want to come because this would allow us to buy something on our table and put it on our table that you won't find hardly anywhere else because it's kind of self-made. So that was awesome. We picked up like five different sets from one more brick. It is dark under here. But one more brick had this section where they were selling Lego sets that they've created. And that's gonna give us a nice look on our table that you won't have anywhere else unless you're able to pick up the sets from them. Oh my gosh. And the show continues. Let's keep going. Here's to be the home from the movie Encanto. 
it's really nice. Look at this down in here. All of this design. And then to take the time to add all the flowers and the coloration. And look at how the roofs are made with the different type of bricks that they use there. This is a really, really beautiful, well-designed set. It took so much time, I'm sure, to put this together. And then the way they switch the colors here, pink and green. Charlie and the chocolate factory. So Latin. And then Alice down the rabbit hole. Wow. Water. Okay. It's a shipwreck <laughs> down at the bottom of the ocean. Scuba divers. This is so beautiful. It's a coral reef. We've got um, that uh, uh, the, the white, that's, that's a sword help from Ninja Day. So detailed. Ninja Day seems to be a popular thing. So what is your build about then? They are all the Lego colours that are that I am aware of. There oh. are some missing. Um, they all have a name. They all have a Lego name. Mm -hmm. So this one, for instance, is called Cool Yellow. I, I made a little bit of a quiz about it. Oh. But some of them are... This one is not white. It's glow in the dark. So if you like, take it in my hand, you can see it lights up a little bit. Yeah? And then there are some others. I'll show you. You can see it. Can you see it? Someone's finger. Right. It looks green, isn't it? That's that's because it's light in the dark. And then there are some other colors that fluoresce. Have you heard that word before? That's right. Oh, you knew. <laughs> you have a light like this. A UV light. Hey, right, let's look at it. Then. Oh, we have a fish tank here. Oh, right. That is. Wow. Yeah. I'm impressed that you knew. <laughs> we have a fish tank here to look at. Oh, I see. That's and it has UV light in there. Yeah. That's how you know. Are you clever kids? Classic Looney Tunes. Look at this. Okay, so here is a really nice aircraft, bi-wing aircraft, with a field of poppies. Uncovered airframe. You know it's art when it gets a name. This is Uncovered Airframe, such as a nice piece. You have a completely unique and mock Lego city. Look at this. It's a mini Lego city. Yes. Absolutely. Beautiful Lego city. Everything is put together so well. Kind of a modern look on it. Just a very modern look. Yeah. Good stuff. It looks really good. So we have a port. And Avengers Tower. Huh? Avengers Tower. And an Avengers Tower over there, the green and white. What do you think the pink is? Huh? The pink tower next to Avengers Tower. Pink tower? Yeah, the pink tower. We're just going to call it the pink one. She's the pink tower. Oh, that one looks like, the little blue one down there looks like the Bellagio. Look at this one.
across at the same time. Oh yeah. my goodness, look at this Lego conveyor belt. Sorry, my name is Look, it's grabbing the pieces from here, taking them up here, sorting them. Oh my goodness, sorting them so you can get them sorted and then dropping them into the different into the different containers. Yeah. This is a nice set. The guy who built this says he's been working on it for seven years on and off to pull this whole set together. So I'm in the midst of the Great Western Brick Show and this is absolutely phenomenal. I love to see all the Lego technique that's being built here. And then they have whole pools of Lego for the young people to just build out. Kids want to build some stuff. I'm telling you, this is a great, great Lego show. So Lego Nemo underwater. Just some great sets there. No, it made you re uh, decide to redo the builds. There's a couple of things. Um, I had to motivate myself <laughs> to continue building. Yeah. Also, um, I was quite pleased with this model when I first did it, but then since then, new parts and yeah. new techniques came out. Yeah. And I, I wanted to do it justice. Okay. Looks good. Thank you. Thank you. We actually have a mini Palace of Westminster. Look at this. Absolutely. Look at that. Look at the design detail. That is nice. Really great sets that are lit up. Look at those eyes. So the Great Western Brick Show does not disappoint. 
I was really, really impressed. And we're moving out of the open hall. We had went through the park with the, with the trains and now going through the big hall. And now we're coming around to the last section where they're gonna have an official Lego store set up. So this should be really nice. Let's finish up here, check this out. The Simpsons, Minions, the Pigs. Oh wow, these are all set up. These are so nice. Hey guys, if you like this content, be sure to like and subscribe. Follow along. We're going to keep going to Lego stores, building Lego sets, building out a Lego table, and coming to Lego exhibits like this to see Lego masters in action. So hey, follow along, 94 and Bricks. Until the next time, take care.